most interesting stories to come out of the Summer Olympics was Justin Gatlin. He won two medals at the London Games, a silver in the 4x100 relay and a bronze in the 100 meters at the age of 30. Justin now has a total of five medals in his Olympic career. He recently talked to me about his amazing career. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I really wanted you to win that 100. Those darn Jamaicans. I know, I know. We're going to put we're going to put a stop to it next year, 2013. And you won with what time or you came in for the bronze with what time? 979. 979. And then Usain Bolt was the one who won. And he yes. do you know what his time was? 965. Uh, the point is you all were under 9.8. There was a time when we talked about the 100 as wow, if you could get under 10 seconds. Exactly. And yeah. it's just Evolution in track and field, track and field world, definitely. Do you think we'll ever see anyone get under nine? Uh, it's a possibility. Uh, you know, probably years ago, people were saying we'd never see somebody run nine six or nine seven, and now we're doing it. This is really a big comeback story for you because as the Olympics were going on, they really talked about a lot how you were banned from the sport for a while and you came back. So that ban was in 2006. Yes. Yeah, and it was for using a performance enhancing drug, but you challenged that. I did challenge it. I challenged it all the way because I felt that I was an innocent person in the situation and I fought all the way till I can fight no more. Um, I took the band and I sat up for four years and the last couple of years I trained and got back up on it and now I'm back competing again and I'm just so happy and blessed to be back here. You've done the just magnificently. In the meantime you tried out for the NFL, right? I did. Yeah, how'd you do? I did pretty good. I, yeah. made it, I was on the mini team on the, um, for the Buccaneers. I tried out. I tried out for five teams, so I, I had five shots, and it was definitely a great experience for me. But then you ended up, and two years ago, you started training again for this. You have a gold already from Athens. Yes, I do. Where is that gold medal? It's at my parents' house. <laughs> I definitely, um, all the things that I have accomplished in my life, I give to them because without them, I wouldn't be here. How does that bronze and how does that silver feel? Uh, it feels great. You know, and I think everyone always says, um, is it is it more, is, does it even equal the gold you won in Athens? And I can say, you know what, it's, it has its own category because it has so much passion to what I've done to come back here to have this silver and this bronze. And not only for me, but for all my supporters. And that race was all for all my supporters. And have so at 30 more. years old, the, <laughs> the young age of 30, <laughs> so much is made of that because sprinters really are much younger than that, aren't they? They are. They start off very young. They start off 19, 20 years old. And you go into, into your 30s. I think the, the great sprinters can go into well into their 30s. And they just got to take care of their body, stay healthy, and they compete with the best of them. How were those Olympics for you? Were you at the opening ceremonies, the closing ceremonies? Uh, I did not go to the opening ceremonies because my coach wanted us to train and prepare for the first, the first phase of the Olympics. And I didn't go to the closing ceremonies because we went out and we wanted, to, we wanted to go out and party and have a good time. And it, cause we really don't get the chance to do that um, while we're in training, especially in season. So we wanted to stretch our legs a little bit.